Hey guys and welcome back to another video, hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today finally here we are with the Lenovo Legion 5 generation 6 which is a beast of a laptop. Actually I would risk to say for those of you that are on a fence and you are choosing between a laptop or a desktop, this is a laptop with class desktop and I will share with you in just a few moments and there is something else that it's interesting especially for those that edit videos and things like that or if you want to more displays just by any reason that I can't imagine right now you can attach three displays right over here two via USB type C and one via HDMI so just awesome if you want to take it on a go and then when you arrive home you can plug into your displays I would suggest a dock for that so that you just need to plug one or two cables so this is just an idea in terms of performance a beast and i've been using it as a daily machine on my last videos and everything that i've been doing uh, because i'm really enjoying this computer now really quickly in terms of specifications because to me specifications mean a lot on a computer such as this one it has the amd ryzen 7 5800h which is a beast of a cpu 3.2 gigahertz up to 4.4 gigahertz it has 16 gigabytes of ram ddr4 3200 megahertz and it can be upgraded up to 32 gigs it has two dims of 8 gigs and we will need to replace those two with 16 times 2 to be able to have the 32 if that's your case of so gpu it has two gpus one which is the integrated gpu on the amd CPU which I believe that it's really nice to have these integrated GPUs and then it also has the NVIDIA RTX 3060 which is a beast we have seen here on the channel actually I've got one right over here and the performance is just awesome although it's a laptop GPU it has a beast of a performance and I'll show you in just a few moments but this to mention that battery wise it has a great balance when it's doing light things like office work and things like that it will use the integrated gpu which is a low power consumer and if you power up a game or anything else a little bit heavier then it will ramp up with the uh, 3060 and you'll have a great performance but the battery will drain a little bit fast this particular model has an ssd of 512 gigs nvme generation and obviously it has this gorgeous display right over here 15.6 inches full HD 1920 by 1080 sorry with a IPS panel and the most surprising thing is that it has 160 Hertz refresh rate so usually we have to trade off between IPS and other technologies like VA and so on and so forth to have better refresh rates and to have a lower latency but in this case they have a latency of 3 milliseconds which is awesome on the IPS display and having a great refresh rate of 165 Hertz with a few more things that I'll mention in just a few moments now let's talk a little bit about the keyboard really nice chiclet keyboard which is nice to type and a nice size trackpad and it has Wi-Fi 6 which hopefully I will be able to test out with the router of with Wi-Fi 6 that I've got uh, right over upstairs and Bluetooth 5.1 now in terms of connectivity really quickly on the left side we will find right over here a USB type C port 3.2 generation 2 plus a headphone jack with 3.5 millimeters on the right side we will find a USB 3.2 a generation one and a button for camera off and then at the back we will find the power input three usb type a 3.2 generation one and one hdmi 2.1 and also a usb type c 3.2 generation two and these usb type c have display ports power delivery on the back on the side we don't have and then data transfer we have on both so the only difference on the usb type c uh, connections are that on the back we will have power delivery and right over here we don't have power delivery and that is it in terms of connectivity now regarding the display you already know the specifications in terms of colors in terms of contrast it is a enjoyment to use it so if you don't want to use any other external monitor which we can you will be very glad to have this display with a high refresh rate for your gaming but at the same time if you want to edit videos pictures and so on and so forth watch videos you will have great colors at your display now one thing that i do believe that it's not the downside and it's not the weakest point because it isn't but it's i don't know it would be on a scale probably the thing that i would value 
less and that is the sound and the sound is great it's clear good bass good uh, audio clarity but it's lacking volume i would love personally to have more volume right over here that's the only point that i would say probably the downside but that's easily fixable by using a headphone jack or by using our speakers to have a better volume but that is it there's one more thing that i would say that it would be great to be perfect but that is something off the table and i will leave it to the end now in terms of the keyboard, I was forgetting to mention that it has backlit uh, keyboards, so you will have two levels that of intensity and then one uh, option to just disable the backlit and that's about it. In terms of battery, I cannot tell you if it will last 3 hours or 10 hours because it will much depend on how you use it. So if you are using for office tasks, it will last a lot, it's a big battery so you will be more than fine. If you start playing without plugging into the electricity, then probably in two hours two hours and a half you will drain the battery depending on the game that you are playing but that's normal with this kind of computer now let's talk about benchmarks and gaming experience so that you can decide if this is the machine that you need on your arsenal or not and starting with some benchmarks just to measure the cpu and so that you can compare with other machines i did cinebench geekbench 5 and 3d mark cpu test and as you can see it is a really powerful cpu 8 cores, 16 threads and it's a beast. So if you are wondering if you can edit videos, stream at the same time and so on and so forth, you are more than capable. Also, in terms of the GPU, using the uh, Time Spy and Port Royale tests so that you can compare with other machines, also great performance right over here. As we have seen on the 360 on the past, uh, we have seen on laptops and also on desktops. So it is very, very powerful and I do believe Personally, that it's the best balance because if we put in here a higher GPU, which might be necessary for some tasks, a 380 for 3080, for example, it will drain the battery faster. If you put something weaker, then you will not have power for your games. And here, it's really well balanced in my opinion. In terms of gaming, all the, the games that I've tested, and I did Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5, Star Wars, and even Gas Guzzlers, just for the fun of it, because I love that game. And what I can say is that the frame rate is always, always above 100. So we are talking about 100, 150 frames per second on these games, presets at maximum, 1080 resolution, with a refresh rate of 160 Hz, which is just awesome for our playback. It also has G-Sync, FreeSync, so <laughs> it has everything that we need on a machine such as this one and that's one of the opinions that if you want to bring it home connect to a bigger tv you will be able to play those games now to wrap up in terms of video editing because this is the kind of machine that will be used for video editing if you checked the last video that i did record regarding movavi video edited i did editor i did use this laptop and a timeline of four minutes took 30 seconds to render so this is a beast now, in this particular case, I wanted to test out DaVinci Resolve, which is not the software that I use on my daily basis. I use Final Cut Pro 10 because of several things, simplicity and rendering times, obviously. But DaVinci Resolve is a good tool to measure uh, between several different computers. If you haven't tried, uh, it's free with some limitations. Just go to DaVinci Resolve website, Blackmagic, the website, download it and try it for yourself so that you compare the results but a timeline of 1080 seven minutes that i built on this computer and the result was that i could render that in three minutes so expect if you do a long video such as half or one hour you will be able to render in 20 ish minutes which is great of course if we apply more effects it will make the project heavier but then it will enter the 3060 uh, gpu to help render those effects a little bit faster just a great machine i'm eager to keep on using for a few more days before i have to send it back but it's just just awesome now to finish up if you ask me hey robert what is that thing that you would love to put there to make it perfect in my opinion would be thunderbolt 3 on one of these connections why by two reasons one of which i do believe that this is a balanced laptop with a 3060 but there will be some cases that the user will want to use either a AMD GPU like a 6900 XT or a stronger NVIDIA GPU like a 3090 and have it on an external GPU or near to the monitor. 
The other reason is that along the line, and would say four, five years, you want to upgrade the GPU, and that would be one of the ways to do it. On the other hand, getting back to reality, probably that would mean to pay a lot more for this computer, and honestly, there won't be many users that will use it that way. I would, but I believe that many of you just wouldn't, and it would make the computer a lot more expensive. And probably that's the reason that Lenovo did this choice, which at the end of the day probably is the smartest choice. And guys, this is it. Hope that the video was helpful in some way, and if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated right over here. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.